broadcast live. We out here on the unplug. We've had a great performance from Sanel. I mean, musician. <laughs> Don't forget the musician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, bro, firstly, Nyabong and Fun for coming through. You know, um, um, I was converted. I was converted to you by, by a friend of mine called Spiso Bule, right? Um, um, he came to me one day and we were running, the, we were doing this campaign that he was obviously. Um, uh, he was, he was like, he's my client, right? <laughs> and he came to me one day with this face of, you know, yo, the Sunnel album. Like, it, it's like something hit him, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, I never forgot it, like, the way he was, because it's not like he told me and I listened immediately, because yeah. it was super busy. Mm. Only after the campaign in December, I was like, I remember he was raving. Let me just go listen to this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> my life changed my life changed i literally went and i listened to everyone else you produced for you know what i mean yeah. um firstly i just i just want to find out where does this thing come from is it is it taught you know did you go to school for it where does it come from um firstly gabon are cool for having me it's it's amazing just sitting next to you right ah, there that's, that's it's crazy cool. Yeah, um, thank you. But man. Uh, I think uh, being signed under demo music, um, really, I feel like I didn't be saying it's a school in at the time. Yeah. This is where I was just learning how to work with an artist in the studio. So demo really taught me a lot, you know, just to conduct myself mm. and how to get the best out of the artist. Mm. You know, um, you, you always find weird people uh, pulling through. I mean, they're very talented. I mean, yeah. they're shy. Yeah. So you just need to find a way to just get the best out of that person. You know. Yeah. Um, so I think being there for five years, being an in-house producer, I got to um, watch Abanyaband. You know, um, pulling through. I, I used to see Black Coffee. Yeah. Coming in the studios, when I love from Yabu, Ciro, Citira. You know, so yeah. all these really people in in a lot. Yeah. So. It was just really amazing. I was, I was learning. I didn't even understand at the time, yeah. you know. Um, and I think, and being a teacher, and she was having gigs in places like Angola, Porto, mm. Europe, you know. So I, I just got to witness me being behind the scenes and really sort of like learn from it. And all the mistakes in Angola that were happening at the time. So I was like, oh, when I get my chance, I'm going to make sure I don't do this and that and try this and that. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, remember the, the making of music is a, is a technical skill, right? Um, and it's also like a, 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 a gift that we don't know where it comes yeah, from, yeah. right? True. We all say the world here because we say the music is, is, is part of creation. Yeah. You know, that's why we got the universe here because the music is just part of yeah, creation, yeah. you know? It's true. It's true. Um, technically, with regards to y your learnings there, was it how were you an in-house producer was it because you studied sound engineering or was it because that you just liked music no I, no no <laughs> don't wait they didn't even go to school firstly that's 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 what i need to clear i think um it really goes back to high school actually i was just sitting this sitting in lean and just thinking about it i'm like when did it actually start this whole thing and I realized it's you not know, back even back at school in, you know, I was perfect throughout my high school days. Yeah. I was a captain near, near football and cricket yeah. throughout. So yeah. I had all of those little things. But I think the music uh, came in from Ekai. Mm -hmm. You know, my sister, she was a big quieto fan at yeah. some of my release. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, tape cassettes yeah. and all of that. And my dad would play American Soul, yeah, yeah. you know, Pacey Sledge, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, Killing the Gang, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then my grandma and up in Vusele Lassi Natal. So yeah. all of these dynamics, you know, just, I think, and it's so weird because I always tell artists when they're rocking, it's like, there's a DNA, there's a musical DNA that is just stuck here. Yeah, yeah. And there are chances that you might tap into what you used to listen to as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hence, I, I usually just do a little interview before I even hit the computer and do yeah. whatever with the artist, I always try to find out because I know that's where the true 
definition of who you are musically yeah. is all in your past and yeah, all the yeah, other yeah. things that influenced you. So okay. that's how I sort of like unlock. Okay, <laughs> I call it the okay so that's phase. how you... Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So basically it's a case of, of you picking up the DNA and I, that, that really intrigues me that like you basically like have a outlook interview yeah. kind of moment. Yeah. That's, that's just, I don't know, it just worked really, really good for me because it's easy for me to design a sound around you. Mm. Uh, KZN, oh, okay. Moe River, a very small remote town. Yeah. So yeah. I went to UKZN though for, uh, you know, but really I always struggle explaining this because I just went to college because my friends were going to college. Because both are busy. Well, I went to the, UKZN, no, yeah. <laughs> 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 I think when I learned to it as, as black kids, it's it's um maybe in at the time where ungat was over was over right more to your college. It's yeah, not yeah. the other things. Yeah. But I think one can listen to business around me as a kid. I, I think we, my grandma could see me, which no one no. She actually sat me down before I finished my matric. And I was like, no, son, that's Angna in my college. Yeah. But I didn't even tell her which yeah. I go to call, but yeah. she could see, obviously, which yeah. all this one. Is, is ambitious. Is, yeah. I, I, I dream a lot. So see, um, I think that's that's where everything really, really, really started for me. And you know, before I mean, I'm gonna move a little bit from the music. Also, like your artwork, the, there's the, there's a lot of like uh, like universe. You know, there's a lot of besides just this album. You, you're very arty with this stuff that you come out. It's always some animated drawing stuff. You know. Where, where does that come from, you know, with regards to just having that consistent flow of like, um, um, is always just painted, drawing, some stuff you can have as a painting, yeah, yeah. you know, where does that come from? It, it comes from um, being broke. <laughs> yeah, Firstly, yeah. That's the stem. That's where it, it, it roots your corner, it comes from that. But then I had the most amazing people around me where we could just use that one picture. Yeah. Especially on my first album, we couldn't even afford a photo shoot for that. Yeah. So we yeah. just took that one picture and then said, no, Yazin, we don't need that. Let's just do a little anime vibes to it and just put yeah. an African print. Yeah. Which was very important to me. Yeah. Because yeah. I could see, I, I love history. I love mm. really checking on how, what's moving, why is it moving? Mm. So I saw a lot of things, fashion. I saw the African print. I was like, oh, wait, hold, hold up. I feel like we're always waiting for people to come and get us. Yeah. So how about I give everything back to Yeah. yeah, yeah. How about I get to Africa to the world? Yeah. I'm yeah. exporting yeah. the sound yeah. to the rest of the world. So those are some of the things that really influenced the whole world. Going back to interviews, you know, I, I mean, and you and I, and I'd love you to, for you to tell the story, but I'm gonna tell it this way. Um, Ami. And no, it's not Amu. Amu, you know. <laughs> She'll be there in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been warned, Amy, to say Amy, yeah. you know. Um, I, I, I also met her, I'd say, the first time, like, like a month ago, three weeks ago, you know. And, um, and I've obviously been on our platform. She kind of played some of her music. She did a song. Um, she did the one song with this one song with M MT and she's got this clean voice, yeah. you know, she's got this clean, clean voice, you know. Amazing. So I was telling her that, like, listen, I was like, how's the now, you know, and she's like, I was like, I was like, because, you know, I'm, I listen to you because of him, you know, like, <laughs> he's, I mean, wow. and, and, she, and she's like, no, oh, he's cool, you know, he's like, he's like cool. And, and um, she just talked about how when she's in studio with you, she knows how, you know how to get the best out of her, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? And I was like, I believe that, Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, tell me how you, like, your, how the, specifically the relationships and how you build these relationships from other sims to you, your ear just to go, this is who I'm going to work with. How do you match those things? You know what I mean? How do you reference those things? Right. It's just, you know, I think it's blessings. Mm. I just got to thank that because if you guys know, I know, yeah. yes, I'm, I'll be lying. Yeah. yeah um, I think Abbasun the Little Zawam are people that I'm meant to be with. Mm. I just, oh, that's the, on, the only way I could figure this, I could just explain it yeah. to brother. So I think um, even having my younger brother, um, who's very good, 
um, uh, we, we both designed the sound basically yes. back at uh, Moi River in the yeah. bedroom. Yeah. So uh, uh, we've always just been around each other and he actually is the one who found Simi oh. because they were in the same college. So yes. uh, when when he told me I was with Boosie at the time, I was working on uh, Boosie's fourth album and he was like, hey, it's not like, just stay here, this is girl here. It's like, what girl now? Like, you know, and then I was yeah, like, okay, yeah, all yeah. right, cool. We 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 yeah. struggling with money for our own yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was the yes, thinking, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, are you killing me? So men's are okay, great. Men yeah. figure the square and I'll pull through and I'll listen to her. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I think um, it's it's all these different spaces. But then I, I, one thing I've used social media for is to find such things as well as like. Yeah find such people. Yeah. That's how I found, actually, I mean, I, that's how we connected. But, I mean, IG. Yeah, 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 yeah. And usually I just go through the profile. It's very important. The profile is a CV. I always tell people, um, there was a guy in there, my DMs, I got to all of me, blah, blah, blah. And then I go through the profile. There's no, it isn't a single video of you singing. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Didn't, for me, right there, no, you're not ready. We're not ready to be a model. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. to sing. Because yeah, yeah. if I don't find you being who's Nigella, yeah. that's, where, that's where I find it. Okay, you are not afraid to be about to cool me now, criticize your singing or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So already that probably, there's a lot of, there's a job, there's a big job that needs to be Dan Gwen, firstly, yeah. so you can unleash yourself to yeah. being that person. Then, um, but then I find people like Ami, and then I find videos, and then, and then I saw the other ones, nice ones, and then there's this other one that was really dark. Yeah. I think she was in her bedroom, I think. Yeah. Then that's when I was like, okay, this is it. Yeah, yeah. Because when I listened to her, I felt what she was, I didn't even hear the words. Yeah. But it's the flow, it's the patterns, it's, yeah. it's, it's the way she was just projecting it. And I was like, oh. This is it. Do you do you feel that like the you like going back to how you would sit in studio and direct people and say you sing like that? Do you think that that has spilled over into how you even look at the world? Because when you <laughs> saying that like I'm looking at your IG and already I'm going and you know the a, a studio literally always has a class yes. in between. Yep, yep. So the IG is like the class yeah. and already I'm going. The behavior doesn't relate to uh, what you're saying you want to project. Yes, exactly. So do you, feel, do you think that like your, 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 your critical mind in studio has kind of spilled over yeah. to your life in other platforms? A, cool, a, a lot, a lot. Because I think what really um, pushed that is running a record label. Mm. Now having mm. artists right next to you and you ever want to know, okay, you're talented, yeah. but you're not ready to... Yeah, yeah, do the job. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. Um, I think it it, it, it life, and just because it's business for me, and music is my life. Mm. So all well, this, that has really actually spilled over to the other side, where I'm just like, yeah, I'm looking at the person, I'm like, oh no, you don't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, yeah. Um, I, and I always try not to. It's it's so hard for me because I I like sharing. Whenever I see a person just going through a struggle, this is in. I like to. Just go to work one and then, no, he has it. No, not to left it to right. It's going to work. But yeah. then it's up to you. Yeah. You yeah, know, but yeah. people are, are funny because they, they, people are sensitive. I might as well tell you, well, no, why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why won't tell about my life? And, yeah. Yeah. So, and I think, I don't think he found us through just owning a record label. It's a lot of headache, but it's beautiful just seeing these souls. It's just a person finding themselves. Pam walking like, oh. Yeah, but they actually like me. Okay, this is great. Yeah. And I'm happy. That's that's just what makes me happy. What do you think that your music is doing though? You know, um, from uh, from a from a healing perspective, you know, because as I said to you earlier on, I was like, I'm grateful I was referred to your music, you know. Um, what do you think your music is doing to people and what's the type of reception that you normally get, you know? Um, just from people and the type of people, because I know you look at yeah. demographics yeah, yeah, also. Yeah, I'm done. Break it down. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's really beautiful. I really appreciate all all the love, all the feedback. It's really beautiful because it comes from a very deep place. Mm. You know, um, when I was working on my first album, it was the most toughest thing. Um, uh, before that, I even thought of thinking, "Oh, no, Veling Boyle can go with security." Yeah, FNP for real. Yeah. So I was like, no, this, this I'm getting like a Pasco bridge. 
because things are sour, boy. Like I, I was, I just lost. I think he's losing it at that time. Wow. I think that's where the gas pila basically. I feel mm -hmm. like I was gas pila on that album. And all those stories right there. I think whenever I think about it, actually, I think those are my stories. And these guys just came to write about keeping up and then because it was a really dark time. I was going through a lot of. I think I was depressed even, mm. but I didn't even know. Mm. I only realize, realize on mind when I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm actually happy yeah, now. Yeah, 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 I'm better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I realized, you no, know, I had a lot of trauma and a lot of, a lot of things that I was just going through at that time. There was, you know, it, it, yeah. but it's beautiful because in Sizilinga and Lisha, the trainer, I call it training the star. Mm, mm, so, yeah, it's suicide, this thing with no, I'm great. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. Color from, from nothing yeah and yeah. no one wanted to collaborate because nobody knew me mm. Mm. and then but then another person would take this in a very bad way as well we didn't know yeah you know yeah. when i was struggling, when I was struggling. Yeah. so i'm a very positive person yeah i've yeah. learned to just take myself from a dark space into a positive space no matter no matter when right now even right now Mm. If I when there's something bad, I'll be like, but there's something great that happened on the day as well. Yeah, so I'd yeah. rather focus on that. Yeah. yeah so I can yeah. move on. Because yeah. more local dealer with negative vibes, we as block. Yeah. You know, yeah. um and uh well the music itself it, it it just comes from the very honest space. Yeah. Um and um I just wanted to just do everything and give one out because I think rolling with Bosi. She was a soulful artist. Yeah. So it was a very niche crowd. Like, yeah. you never, there were, not everyone was just screaming for the vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. How can I improve this sound? Yeah. yeah. How can I make it appeal to a broader audience? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah. And were, you, were you working on Busi's albums, like all of them, like for production? Or were there specific songs? Specific what songs. Were, what were the biggest songs that you made? You biggest? <laughs> That's the thing I don't think I, I have. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> You know, I'm sure because the split sheet is a big thing, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, I was just happy. I, I was just happy to be working with Bosi. Yeah. The demo. Yeah. And that was it for me. No yeah. money, no nothing. Yeah. I didn't care about all of that. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, I, but what we did, um, I did into Gantler for her. Um, I think I did about four or five songs, mm. but specifically on the fourth album, studio album, that's when I was introduced to just working there. And it was such a very weird moment because Temo was just there. But yeah, I saw last night, press uh. R. And then this bus is standing here. And my mind is just, oh my God, God this bus is here. I'm recording <laughs> this right now. It was such a, a beautiful moment. So you um, weren't like, it's not like you were gunning. It just, they were just like. No, I, I was because approaching Temo, it was a, a tough. I, actually, I, 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 I worked out a way of just not me just rocking up to Temo because Temo is from, we're from, we're from the same hometown. Yeah. So, but I am, so I, I didn't just want to rock up to him because he was like, no, Temo, who gone? Yeah, who yeah. Tight, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, I don't want Temo to tongue touch. Yeah, yeah. So I, I worked hard, yeah. two years in my own space. And then yeah. when he pulled through, one time I was like, you know, this is it. Let me just go give him this DVD. Yeah. That's 4.7 gigs of music. And an MP3 full of mixes. Yeah. It's like, this is it. This is my life. Yeah. I just gave it to him. I was like, ah, Buddha, it's me. This is what I do. He's like, no, my people have been telling me about you. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, it's beautiful. But then I just waited for people to actually be cool men instead yeah, of yeah. just me rocking up, uh, yeah. being entitled about, that, about the vibe. Yeah. You know, there's a balance in the industry and um, I mean, and there's a lesson also where you literally said, I wanted to work hard. So when I come in there, I come in there with my work, yeah. not come in there and say, I can do the work, yeah. you know. Yeah. And on top of that, you, you, you also go, um, look, the money wasn't the biggest thing for you. I was just happy to be around and doing that, you know, um, and, you know, if we're trying to be all scientific about it and yeah. all smart about it, we yeah. could go, yo, the business, the business, the business. Yeah. But where's the balance between like, yeah. this is actually a stepping stone that I could learn from. Yes. And I don't know maybe what's happening too much with the business or whatever the case yeah. be, yeah. but if I don't take that stepping stone, I don't know where else I'm going to get it. Yeah, yeah. 
the, I mean, how do you make that decision? Yeah, you know what I mean? It's a tough one. It's, 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 a, it's a tough one. Now, I think if it's even harder, which is well, uh, because I think it's very important. I always tell artists as well, maybe Safiga, because they're so excited. They've never tasted any of this fresh and beautiful thing that happens within the system. Mm. I always tell them, Muti, you must, as much as Uzbuk as an artist, but Uzbuk as a business. Mm. So everything good is or was wins the sense, you know. Yeah. So no matter when Zalan we personal space, you must on stage and present because you don't know who's watching. Mm. You know, mm. um, so you need to just snap, switch it up in order for you to, to perform because it is work, but it's slightly different because we're more in control. You know, I wake up whatever time I want yeah, to wake up yeah, sometimes, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's always tricky because it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough balance. Uh, but I'm so happy I, 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 I started a record label, mm. you know, um, even though right now I don't, I don't think I'm going to continue signing artists. I'm actually thinking of a new way now to work with artists, you know, mm. um, I, I'd rather build a production system. I'd rather have a bunch of producers and be approached by a major record label, see mm. what you say, let's make a budget and I'll that's it. it. Yeah. Because it's tough, um, it's, it, it's a tough system when we have um, an artist because they literally your babies. Yeah, yeah. You have to be there. When's that? Yeah. Like, yeah, all yeah. of these weird things. So yeah, yeah. I don't think I am capable of, of running those type of things. And then you look and I say I'm failing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like oh, your artist left you because yeah. well, no, you're not taking yeah. care of them. I'm like, I don't think I have time. Yeah. And I would strongly advise about my artists as well, especially when you come up, don't sign in you mm. until you find your true self okay, now within the system and understand fully how the business works. And also until you say, actually, I don't want to compete in music and I don't want to depend on music to make a living. Yeah. I'm comfortable enough not yeah. to depend on me making the music. Yes. Um, I don't mind, though, taking a risk with you and you and whatever yes. the case be. Yes. And then I'll run for you. I'll literally go get you water <laughs> yes. um, and not care that I was whoever I was because yeah. I've literally, you know what I mean? It's and it's me. difficult yeah. to balance those no, things, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, it's, Especially like now, I'm thinking you, we, we, there's only a few people that like, where God's in the room when, there's, when they're in studio, you know? Yeah. And I think God's in the room in the studio. God is like, I, I don't, I'm not coming to that <laughs> session, you know? It's a small, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I mean, you, you like that guy where I feel God's in the room and, and, and the music is spiritual and, and I think the music is, is traveling beyond even what we think is you know um where are you taking this sound where do you guys want to go with this sound um uh, i mean obviously you've said it like um africa to the world yes, right yes, yes. but um but in re what, are, what are the practical things and the thoughts that you have with that statement yes, you know yes, what i mean yes yes yes, yes. i think uh, right, um i just explained it in a way but fully amazing is i thought this is the thinking we had with uh, my, my, my guys, you know, my team. Um, we were thinking the artist way is going to be the way so you will listen out of this whole thing to mm. the sound. But then now we've just realized, you know, it's a lot of admin. It's a, it's a, it's a big job. So it's, it's hard to just get artists to just be the voices. So how about we change the way we, we present our sound? Yeah. Yeah. Um, rather, let's build a production system that will invite artist in so in this way i, I think i if was so cool after i've watched this documentary it's called this is pop mm. where they were talking about stockholm syndrome mm. where most of the songs as well as like pop records to be specific are produced in sweden written in sweden mm. but we all thought we were in, in america mm. so i just thought to myself I'm like hey there's a gap for us here yeah. but if you can just put in on the space in a sort of and then that's how we can just be more impactful. Mm -hmm. I think that will just make the sound more stronger and it's less about sunny, mm -hmm. which is something I always mm -hmm. try and run away from because yeah, yeah. I've never wanted to be here yeah, yeah, in a yeah, way, yeah, you know, yeah. but I love music, you know, yeah, yeah. but it's, it's kind of working now. It's just kind of dragging me yeah, to yeah. just really engage with anything from Wikulom, you know. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. I think that's the discussion we had yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, so I think that's, that's, that's where I'm at right now. Um, uh, really, I think one of the other things that I'm gonna do, um, I think those guys, what they did, they had nice contracts with uh, major record labels where they could just 
sign, work, let go of the artist, next person. Mm. So it's more impactful because we're not stressed anymore. Mm. We're not thinking about, oh. It's a service. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's going to be more, yeah. slightly quicker. That makes sense. And I think the other guys, young guys that have sort of groomed, would groom the next guy. Yeah. So yeah. this is just, it's just going to, it's, it's, it's just going to, I just wanted to escalate and everyone to just eat, you know, and make music. Um, I think more importantly, what I enjoy about this sound is it's able to employ a, a lot of people because it, it can allow you to have a keyboard. Yeah. Can allow to have a drama if yeah, you can yeah. dancers how many people yeah. are hired in that space because yeah, yeah. i think that i got it from djing for busi on a live shows and then i saw how many people she employed mm. then i was mm. like okay how if i could just make more busies then yeah and how yeah. many people would, would get yeah. the job so that's i love that i mean that 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 is definitely progressive because yeah. that that takes the whole thinking of um of it actually like further amplifies what you're doing because yeah. you literally need to go what is my strength is my strength being a Sipo Lamini or yeah. Sean Watson you know you gotta ask those are real questions yeah. right <laughs> yeah. um and you go then you look at them and you go uh, I don't think so yeah because they're not saying their strength is yeah. being any of the artists yeah, yeah, yeah. so you go but like still though there's a business beyond just signing uh, artists. The other business is actually like going into my strength. How do I turn that strength into a business? And that strength is being generous with the sound. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I so. Being generous with the skill. Mm. Similar to how the people that helped you were generous with that yes, too. Yes, yes, true. Now, how do you turn that into a business? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And that's all you're saying. You're saying yes. you want to be gen And that's how you take it to the world, yeah. right? Yeah. That's when someone comes from the world and goes, where do we go to get yeah, that sound? That's true. That's it. That's it. And by approaching my major record labels, I've got better, better reach. Mm. You know, when you're independent, because I've, I've, most of these things, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's from ground zero. So I saw other things that I need. I, I yeah. think I want to help putting it from this place, from this place, for me to get to that other space. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And building, it just builds your publishing inventory also. Yeah, it does. I mean, there's a huge, I mean, there's a le big learning opportunity. It's just what it does. Like, you can, you can literally sign one artist or literally, like, have a couple of artists you involve in their projects. And that's, like, money that will come later. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it's, it's, I think that's the way to go. Yeah, it is the, it's the way, I, you know, it's, it's, it's always beautiful. I think uh, guys like Trevor you know, and Black Coffee and uh, Ozozi, you know, they just really opened this kind of this, this space now. Like, oh, that's actually achievable. Yeah. You, I, I've shared my story yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of being stuck in a foreign country in yeah. studio. Your creative process being stuck in, in, in studio. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I experienced the same thing um, when I was, I was telling you earlier on when I, when I went to the States and, I was in a studio with uh, with, uh, with with Ludacris, with, <laughs> with Two Chains, and yes. everybody else, yes. and they were finishing their album, and they were like, and they were doing an outro, the intro, sorry, and they're like, Africa, throw it in. <laughs> Africa. Now, <laughs> and Africa. And and plus, like I was saying, they got all. When at least you were with Swizz and Alicia, so yes. you know, yeah. I was around the artists, and the artists, like, there's tension, with what the hell? So now you have to perform. Hi, okay. you know what I mean. So, so you had you, I relate. you, I relate you were so stuck also there yeah, when, stuck. when when Swiss says, "Yep, try something." Yeah, he, he was. I think they were just really intrigued on how we we do music, and yeah. how we make. I remember Alicia just asking me that. It's like, a, I'm actually interested in your, your thought process on how you come up with those sound. Yeah, and. So now you what you're trying to do, you're trying to appease it and think about the process. Yes, yes, yes. And it's then when you something start, I've never done before. When you, when you have to apply yourself, yes. now you are thinking. Yeah. And it's meant to be a big tool. Yeah. Whereas Mengi says, facing some, I, I'm, I'm alone in that 
room, yeah. just getting into it. Yeah. But now there's an audience, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's such a crazy moment. Yeah. And I was making me feel up bad, yo, when I was flying back, I was like, nah, ish, Saned. What's up, Ada? You figure you won't go figure you're stuck. This guy is not serious. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I was, I was not happy. I was not happy with myself. I, that, um, I won't lie, Nam, it was a confidence, yeah. like, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like I was saying, that's why I always go, I respect, you know, what people don't know and don't understand is that, like, when you are in a space outside your comfort, yeah. and not like, Chozi, Deben, yeah. like, we talk about, like, everything is foreign. Yes. Everything <laughs> is foreign. Yes. It takes a lot, and as I, you know, I, I think what people don't understand is that no matter what they say about Nas DC, yes. the kind of conviction he has in spaces that are not he, like his yes. spaces, his spaces yes. or spaces where he's not welcome, because they're also calling him no, Africa, no, no, of course. somewhere. Yeah, definitely. you know, you know. Yes. So, yes. so it takes a lot to take that. You it know, does, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, I think I uh, one of the other guys in Ngambone going through that was Trevor when he was fresh. I could see which I got be comfortable. Yeah. It's a, it's yeah. a lot of pressure. Yeah. You know. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, I, I respect guys like him as well. Coffee. Yeah. You know, he, I remember just listening to his, well, uh, to one of his interviews and then he was talking about that as well. Mm. It, because the NFO is not based on the on studio only. It's, 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 it's performance. Yeah. He's a DJ. Yeah. So now what do you play for this crowd? Yeah. And then you asked to see the first one, it was a flop. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So he had to go back and then what's told, you know, um, it's, 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 it's a lot. So I, and I, I respect our cool. I mean, I guess that's really like, and to segue, when we're going um, from Africa to the world, you must also prepare yourself for the world. Yeah. You must also prepare, you know, and you must also remember that like you could make mistakes, but yeah. always try see if there's a second shot, yes, you know, yes. you know what I mean, because yes, 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 yes. it's, cause it's cause, cause, and I like this because coffee's got the story, you know, um, I've got a story, you've got a story, yeah. a lot of people have got a story yes. of first times in, around an environment, I'm in the studio, seller face, like Mbonama Flex, outcast, I will baby face, opposed to men, like, you don't care, yeah, 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 yeah. Number so. He TV. Yeah, yeah. Zilla, yeah. Number so. So, but in some places, so but oh, yo, Africa rap. Ah, na embe, na embarrass Africa, embarrass Africa. No, no, I'm excited because I relate. So it, it's just, it, 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 I'm like, wow. Uh, yeah. Man, Sanela, I wish you all the luck, man, with the music, um, the, the, the the ideas you have with how you want to spread the sound. Yeah. I really want to, I really wish it reaches a lot more people. And um, and and yeah, man, shout out for everything and thanks for joining us today. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this conversation. Very fresh. Thank you. Sure. The Unplugged. Broadcast Live.